Good afternoon and welcome to a review of Johanne, The Sunshine in My Mirror, episode 10 review. Okay, now, before I begin with this, I'm pretty sure you guys saw my morning video about Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. And I make no mistake about it, I will talk about it tomorrow morning before I head to work. That's just, that's just the big old topic right there. But now, we go into this episode of Johanne, Sunshine in My Mirror. You know, last week was one of those, like, you felt the energy. You felt it coming. You're feeling it coming. The plot thickings. The, the, you felt some kind of vein in your body that something is going to happen in this Johanne show. And, you, you, and you know what? We were right. You see, every episode of Sunshine in My Mirror, there had been good moments. And there's never a bad movie. There's never a bad episode. All we got to see was Johanne making a name of herself in this in this episode. I mean, in these episodes. And making friends along the way. But Lilapis and Johanne, they, are, they have this thing. From the beginning, when Lilapis start talking, I'm like, wait, she's talking? And then, we, and then we got into last week's episode where we found the truth about Lilapis and Johanne. How she was able to communicate with her. Now we get to episode 10, and things got a hella quick. Hella quick so much that it just went like that in, in an instant. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Because I want to get to this episode review of this episode 10. Because there's, a lot of, there's some things that just kept like, 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 there's just some things that just left us in the dark. Okay, so. <clears throat> Johanne has come through a lot. Making friends, having the staff with all the with all the emblems, even singing with Guilty Kiss, who I believe Guilty Kiss is the best unit in Love Life history. Number one. So after all this, we now get into episode 10, where one of the uh, people, one of the judges from, from audition, invited her once again to go back and do perform once again. Now, Yohane has had been some Yohane has been, I mean, has been in many, many, many situations in terms of uh pressure. This one is has a lot of pressure. I mean, once she found out she got audition to go to go back to Okai and to perform, everybody went in. I mean, it spread around the. It was around the entire city of uh, Numazu. It was around the entire city. Even Daya was so fat, was so impressed by her that that she got accepted. That she even made a a party, a, a celebration for Johanne's uh, travel back and to perform representing her town. I get that. That's a lot of pressure when you're representing a town, city, country, whatever. You gotta give it one million percent, not a hundred percent. A million percent or more to, and represent your city. Now, here's the thing. This episode kind of had like a dark, this is one of those dark moments in this one because it's like this is the theme of this episode a rock and a hard place. It's like, what's more important? Your fame or your, fam or your friends? That's what this episode was about. I mean, she, remember she failed her audition. She moved back, trying to make a name for her, trying to with this assignment that her mom gave her. And after all these episodes of her making friends, developing, understanding the understanding about friendship, loyalty, trust, you know, listening, communicating, and helping out others, you know, she don't want to leave that behind. So it's like, what can I do? Do I want to do this for fame? Or do I want to stay here and just have good memories? Memories that I got to bond with. People I got, people who form in a lot, people form uh, friends with each other, like especially with Mari and Rico and all that stuff. That's what Yohane is going through. So that's, again, a difficult situation for Yohane. This is difficult. Now, the Lapis. The Lapis don't want to attend the party, but she don't want to go, she don't want to go with um, Yohane. The Lapis from the beginning, she was an interesting dog character from the beginning. From the first episode she started talking, I'm like, what? She talks? 
but no one else wasn't talking to her. So I'm like, wait a minute, something, what is it's something that uh, the magic in this is like nobody is not talking to her. So what is the situation behind it? And then again, we found out the whole plot of all this was Johanna's magic got involved with this one. Yohane's magic, and that's the and that's the key to it. But the lapis is holding something even more. I think the lapis is gonna be. I I know people are saying she's gonna die. I, I don't want it. I want to say she's gonna die. Part of me doesn't want to because she's the main reason why Yohane is doing things. She's one of the main reasons why Yohane is is achieving and developing in many ways. But we can't. But Again, part of me says she not, part of me says she is, but in this fantasy world, anything's possible. But this is love life. This is, I just, I, you know, you got to remember something. This is love life. There's no deaths in love life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say that. There's no deaths in love life. I mean, no, nah, I don't think it's possible. But again, they cannot let Lapis die. I think she's going to be the key vocal of this like she's the centerpiece of this series because beyond uh because the lapis has something either she's a human or the or the miracle that brightens that brightens the city so they got the stage set up for yane everything's prepped up now the day of the festival everything's out you got daya who's talking too much even ruby at her at her normal height, pushes Daya out the stage, which was funny by the way, because Daya, Daya had a lot of dialogue and all that. So they get Ruby just push her out the way, and then then the Hanamaru Yohane bread thing. I love that. I love the bread making thing. I love Hanamaru's bread face. I mean, um, Hanamaru's bread with Yohane's face. I loved it. I I effing love it. Like that design is something. That's gonna be a product. I kid you not. That yo, that yo, how do my bread with Yohane's face? I kid you not. That's gonna be make it to a merch where you just like you sleep on the bread or eat it. I think it's gonna be making all those other brands out there in Japan where they're gonna make that bread and eat it, or they're gonna make it to a pillow. But that's that. And that Yohane bread and face thing is there every time, especially in this episode, which I'm gonna and it had a kill count. That bread had a kill count. And I'm gonna get to that later. But anyway. It went from zero to a hundred in this episode. It went from like, yeah, we're celebrating Yohane, cele um, Victor audition. I mean, she's going to move back. She's going to audition. She's going to represent our city. And then it just started to dive in where Yohane talking about she would have done this with her friends. She would have done it without her best, best friend, the Lapis. Now, the Lapis quickly jumped off, jumped on the stage to say the... And then the dark aura once again showed up. And it's been a long time since we've seen a dark aura. Since that dark presence thing, it's been a long time since we've seen that. And for it to come at this right moment, talk about a bad timing. Talk about bad effing timing here. They gave us that. And then, you know, and everyone, even the animals were scared. It affected the animals. It was affecting Hanamaru's pig. But then it's that, it's that cliffhanger. That freaking cliffhanger when the deer stepped on the face of Hot of, of Johannes bread, that was a kill count. That was an effing kill count. I'm counting that as a kill count. I'm sorry. That deer stepping on Hanamaru's bread with Johannes face on it, that's the kill count. That's just stepped on the face. That means there's gonna be death involved. And it, it's that cliffhanger though, where Johannes is just like, yeah, you know, let's just let's just call it like it is. When we watch cliffhangers, there are some cliffhangers that's gonna suck. There are some cliffhangers that end like, why? And there's some that's just like, oh. But this cliffhanger got us a lot of things going. We can't, it's like, next week is gonna be one of those impact things. We gotta see where this goes. We have got to see where this goes next week. And I can't believe it. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna see this. So again, this episode was, I won't say quick, Episode 10 of Yohane Sunshine and Mirror was one of those episodes where it's just like, this was a quick episode, but in a good way. Think about it. We went from a happy all the way to some depression. You know what I mean? From zero to a hundred. And episode 10 did that right off the gate. Yeah, it has some funny moments. I give them that. It has some 
funny, funny moments. But damn, you went, you talk about from zero to 100, rat, mad quick. That's what this was. I don't, next week is going to be freaking awesome. I can't wait to see this. And looking at the preview for next week, it's going to be a sad, depressing thing. I mean, yeah, with a, with a few episodes left down the road, I think it's like 12 or 13. I think it's going to end at episode 13. But but like I said, shit like this, oh my God. And the Lapis, being that the dog herself has something secretly that we didn't find out about, we're going to find more, more info. And that's what I like about talk. That's why I like talking about this show. This is why I like talking about this because not only is Love Live, but it's like if you're a fan of Love Live, you don't even have to watch like Love Live or Love Live Sunshine. Just watch this and just really just just watch this. You watch it as a fantasy anime. You, just, you know when you watch a fantasy anime, you know there's going to be some twists and turns and cliffhangers or even some plot twists. And right now, this episode talking about like zero hundred quick. Oh my god, pretty. Pretty good episode. So, I look forward for next week's episode of, of Johanne Sunshine in the Mirror. Remember? Sunshine in the Mirror. So, let's see where this goes. With, this, with a cliffhanger like this, Doomsday or something is going to happen. And Johanne singing is going to change all that. And I guarantee you, Johanne is not going to sing by herself. Given the fact that we got all, given the fact that we uh, Johanne make friends, how much you want to bet Johanne and, and the rest of the crew are going to sing in the final episode for the audition. That's how I see it. We'll, we'll see how that goes next week. So stay tuned.